Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. In today's video, we'll be doing a 30 minute yoga class for arms and core. This is a great 30 minute yoga class to do to strengthen your arms and your core. You won't need any props for this class and it's great for strong beginners. Before we get started, if you aren't yet subscribed to this channel, Hit that subscribe button down below. I post new free yoga videos twice every single week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. We're going to begin in child's pose. Come onto your hands and knees. Touch your big toes together. Separate your knees apart. Set your hips onto your heels and then relax your torso down over your thighs. Bring your head to the floor and stretch your arms out in front of you. As you're here, you can close your eyes. Take a moment to breathe, quiet your mind. Feel your back stretching over your legs. Feel your hip sockets softening. Just breathe. Slowly come up onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees right underneath your hips and your shins parallel to one another. Tuck your toes and then stretch your arms out, maybe about one foot, 12 inches forward. And then they're going to slide forward even more as you bring your head down to the floor. Rest here. As you press your chest down towards the ground, open your armpits towards the floor. And remain here for another moment. Lift your head up slightly and take your left arm threaded underneath the right arm. Coming into a twist, you'll bring the left side of your head, the left temple, to the floor. Slowly come up out of your twist and come into the other side, taking the right arm, thread it underneath the left, and bring the right temple to the ground as well. Raise your head up, unwind from your twist, and then come into a downward facing dog by pressing your hands into the ground and pressing your toes into the ground as well, straightening your legs. In your first downward dog, pedal your legs, alternate bending and straightening. 
gently pressing your heel down towards the ground with each time that you straighten your leg. And just move here for a few more breaths. And slowly come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Hold here. From here, drop your knees down onto the floor. Come back to your hands and knees pose. This time, bringing your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees are right underneath your hips. Shins are parallel to one another. Inhale, you'll come to a cow pose by tucking your toes, looking up and spreading your shoulders wide. Exhale, untuck your toes. Curve your spine in the opposite direction and look towards your legs. Inhale, come back to your cow, tuck your toes, arch your back, spreading your collarbones wide, looking up. Exhale, untuck your toes, come to your cat pose, reach your upper back towards the ceiling and look towards your legs. Continue to move in your own breath timing. Inhale, find your cow pose like this, and then exhale, find your cat pose. Working through your whole spine as you arch and curve, and warming your body up from the core. Slowly come to stillness. Bring your back to flat or neutral. And then from here, we're going to keep the arms underneath the shoulders and straighten the legs one at a time, coming into a plank pose. So straighten the right leg, straighten the left, and hold. Hold your plank firmly, keeping your body in one straight line all the way from the top of your head down your spine, down your legs, all the way to your heels. Hold for one more deep inhale and deep exhale. And then lower your knees down onto the floor, untuck your toes and come all the way down to your belly. From here, bring your palms flat next to your ribs and point your elbows up towards the ceiling and then bring your forehead to the ground. Take an inhale, lift your head and your shoulders off the ground. Keep the tops of your feet on the floor behind you for a low cobra arch. And then we'll bring our head down on an exhale and do this twice more. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders off the ground once again. Spreading your shoulders wide. Test your hands on the floor. You should be holding yourself up with your back muscles. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale once again, arch your back, and exhale, lower your head down. Tuck your toes, press yourself up into a downward facing dog. From your downward dog, lower yourself into a plank pose. We're going to flow in and out of plank and downward dog several times, holding plank in between. So we're going to hold plank for two more deep breaths in and out.
and send your hips up and back downward facing dog hold for one more breath here and then flow back into your plank pose. Hold your plank firmly, keeping your body in one straight line. And send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more time into plank. Lower your body. Hold yourself up, keep strong. Squeeze the outer edges of your body in towards each other and towards the center line of your body. And send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, sit, send your knees down onto the floor. Come to sitting onto your heels for a moment. You can rest on your heels or you can sit cross-legged in easy pose or sukhasana, but we're just gonna do a few arm stretches before we move forward. So take your right arm, stretch it out to the side and cross it over in the front of your body. Hook the left arm underneath the right. And you're going to keep the right arm straight as you hug it in towards your chest with the left. Sit up tall and breathe, stretching the shoulder and the arm. Stay here for one more deep breath in and out. And release your arm, bring it out and raise it up. Bend the right arm and then take hold of the right elbow behind your head and cross it over to the center line of your body. Remain sitting up tall. Try not to flare your ribs out and arch your back here. We're just stretching the arm, we're stretching the tricep. And breathe here in your arm stretch. Release your hand from your elbow, and then we'll take that whole sequence on the other side. We're going to stretch the left arm out to the left, cross it in front of the body, and then hook it in with the right arm. Release your arm from your hook. Raise the left arm up and bend the arm. Take hold of the elbow behind your head with your right hand and gently pull it in towards the center line of your body, stretching the left tricep muscle. And hold here. Try not to arch your back. You're sitting up tall and breathe. Release your elbow from the stretch and bring your arms down by your sides. From here, we're gonna make our way back into downward facing dog. So come back onto your hands and your knees, tuck your toes and straighten your legs into a downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, lower your body into a plank. And then from your plank, lower yourself halfway down. From here, flip to the tops of your feet and press yourself up into an upward facing dog. And then on your exhale, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. We'll move through that vinyasa three more times. 
lower down into plank, chaturanga, just halfway down, upward facing dog, and then downward facing dog. Lower down, halfway, upward dog, and downward dog. Last time, lower halfway down, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. From here, lower yourself into a plank pose once again. Bring your left hand underneath your nose and come to the side, the pinky toe side of your left foot. From here, stack your hips and reach your right arm up into side plank and balance here, working that left arm. Slowly bring your hand down, come back into a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Lower your hips down into a plank. Bring your right hand underneath your nose. Turn to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Stack your feet and stack your hips. And then raise your left arm up, coming into side plank on the right. This is a balancing pose as well. Hold here and breathe. Come back to your plank and then make your way into a downward facing dog once again. Breathe in your downward dog, lifting your hips up and back, press your heels down towards the ground and hold here. From here, send your hips down into plank once again. You might need to adjust your feet as I did. And then from plank, you're gonna lower down onto your forearms. You can keep your palms flat onto the floor or clasp your hands together and hold on there. And this is forearm plank. Hold for one more breath in your forearm plank. And then send your hips up and back staying on your forearms here for a dolphin pose. It's a little bit harder than downward facing dog. Hold here and breathe for one more breath. And then send your knees down to the floor, untuck your toes, and roll up to a seat. Clasp your hands together at the small of your back, straighten your arms. And then open your chest up towards the ceiling and stretch the front of your chest, stretching the shoulders and stretching the arms as well. And slowly release your hands and we'll take that flow from forearm plank to dolphin pose one more time. So come back into your forearm plank. You can clasp your hands together if you would like, or keep them flat, whatever is best for you today. Whatever feels most comfortable for you, try it out and see what works best. Hold your forearm plank once you're there. Breathe in deeply. And then from here, walk your feet back up into your dolphin pose. Sending your hips up and back. Holding here, and breathing deeply. And from here, bring your knees down to the floor, untuck your toes, come to a seat. 
And then we'll come to a cross-legged position. Crossing your shins, sitting up tall, flex your feet underneath your knees and bring your arms all the way out to the side. From here, cross your right arm underneath your left in front of your body and then bend your elbows and then twist your upper arms so that your palms face each other or the backs of your hands come to meet, whichever works for you today. And once you find your pose, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling so that your upper arms are parallel to the floor and breathe here. Unwrap your arms, bring your arms out to the side, and then come into the other side. So crossing your left arm underneath your right, bend your elbows and cross your upper arms so that your palms come to meet or the backs of your hands come to meet, whichever you can do today. And then once you find your pose, reach your fingertips up so that the uh, upper arms are parallel to the floor. And then hold here and breathe. Release your arms from the twist. Bring your arms out to the side, stretch them out wide, and then gently bring them down by your sides. We'll come to lying on the back. While you're on your back, bend your knees, bring the bottoms of your feet to the floor, knees pointing up, and then walk your heels in so they're close to your hips and glutes. Bring your hands down onto the ground by your sides. Take an inhale and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep your knees squeezing in towards each other, not touching. They're still hips distance apart, but they're not splayed out either. They're squeezing inward. From here, roll onto the outer edges of your arms and clasp your hands together underneath your body. Straighten your arms here and hold in your bridge pose. Release your hands from the clasp, roll out from underneath your shoulders, set your hips down onto the floor, and come to hug your shins in towards your chest. Holding on to your shins with your hands, relax here for a moment. From here, release your shins from your hands, stretch your legs out onto the ground. Separate your legs apart and relax them completely. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breathing. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Focus all your attention on your breathing. Allowing each exhale to relax you deeper and deeper into the ground and remain here.
Bring some slight motion back into your body by gently moving your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. Bend your knees, roll onto the right side and rest there with your knees bent and your arm underneath your head for support. Use your hands to help you come up to a seated cross-legged position. Cross your shins, flex your feet underneath your knees, bring your hands to your legs. Close your eyes, sit up tall, take a deep breath in through your nose and release it out. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. It really supports my channel. And also come down to the comment section and say hi. I always love to hear from you. If you aren't yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I post two free yoga videos every single week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. There's a lot more yoga going on over on my website, so come and visit kriskayoga.com, and you can also follow me on Instagram, at kriskayoga. I've been providing a lot of great content over there as well on a daily basis. Thank you so much. See you next time.